Hello everyone, the last time we saw three major models that was included in the Flux Tools update, the Depth, the Canny and the Redox models. So today I will try to show you how you can do in-painting and out-painting using the last Flux One Fill models. So if you want to update the results like this one, I strongly suggest you to follow my video. Okay, to get started, I just used the workflow that was provided by, by the Black Forest team. Then I did some modification in order for you to, to use it more uh, properly. So let me give you a quick overview of uh, for this workflow. Here we have our load diffusion model when we're gonna use this flux fill model. Then I also added a LoRa loader in order for me to use the Turbo Flux LoRa. Here we have the classic dual clip loader and the clip text uh, nodes. And here we have the new nodes, which called the differential diffusion model, which will allow you to get more precise uh, results, since it, it's gonna mix, uh, it's gonna create a mix between the pixels for the in painting, but also for the out painting. So it is very important nodes for this workflow. And if you scroll down here, you can clearly see that we have our load image and we have uh, this new node that was uh, included for the outpainting process where you can choose uh, how you can extend your images. Here we have the left, top, the right and the bottom. And by increasing th those numbers, you can choose to get larger image or you can reduce the size of uh, your image. So I will show you some example of that uh, on this video. Also, we have the feathering uh, string, which will allow you to create more cohesive and consistent results. Since sometimes when we do out painting, we can observe uh, some blurry effect uh, in the edge of the image. But with this feathering uh, options, we can reduce this effect in order to create more uh, impressive results. Then we have this uh, also new notes here which is the in-paint model conditioning where we have the positive and the negative socket we have also our VAE this node uh, really resembles uh, to the control net uh, that was included for the flux and then here we, ha we have the socket for pixels and the mask if you want to do out painting so you will need this bad image for out painting but for the in painting just click Ctrl and V to bypass this one. Then make sure to use this image here and also this mask here. But for now, I will try to show you the out painting first. Then we will see how you can do so. So the in painting using the, this flux model. Okay. After that, we have our key sampler here. Uh, as you can see, I am choosing a step of eight and the CFG value of one and the eight steps is very sufficient since i am using this turbo lola which allows me not only to gain uh, the speed but also to use less vram in addition to that you can clearly see that uh, i am using uh, an fp8 model that was released by another author which uh, is very uh, useful for low vram users okay then we have our image here and as you can see, the, uh, the final results is very consistent and it is very impressive. Last time I did a video about uh, outpainting using SDXL and uh, Flux models, but the results wasn't so good. However, for this uh, new workflow and update, the results are more impressive and more consistent. Okay, here I have a little uh, tips that I will show you. If you want to do vertical or horizontal uh, images, I strongly suggest you to play with this uh, value over here for example if i want to out paint uh, this image in uh, vertical manner i just uh, have to change the value on the right the left i will try to increase the top a little bit and also i will leave the bottom as it is okay i will click q prompt and we'll show you the results okay here we have the results for our images as you can see i made it looks like vertical one and the extension of the image from this one to this one is very consistent i also copied the square one and we can all see the difference between them so the out painting model is very impressive for creating and extending images in addition to that, we didn't add any uh, additional prompt uh, to the scene. 
so it worked automatically okay now we will test out the impacting in order to see if it is more impressive we just have to plug this uh, image and the mask uh, group then i will bypass these nodes and we will do some tests on it okay in order to do some tests i add this image over here then i use the right click and make sure to choose open in mask editor let me clear this for you here we have this astronaut standing on this uh, kind of river and as you can see here i can do some in painting with my mouse you can use the roller mouse uh, in order to increase uh, this diameter as you can see and you can also change the color of this mask in order for you to see it more easily we have the black the white and the negative and the negative type you can also tr try to play with the opacity once it is done make sure to click save to note then here i type in my prompt an anime girl with phoenix ear standing on the river and i clicked q prompt once it is done i obtained these results as you can see it uh, succeeded to replace this astronaut with this girl it also add this little reflection on the water okay let me show you another example i use this picture over here in order to add some text as you can see here we have a woman holding a sign with eight step text i try to replace it with the text in with the in painting uh, word it succeeds to change the the text of this uh, image however i did multiple try in order for me to obtain these results so it is not uh, as much impressive with text changing. I tried with the original FP16 uh, model and the result was the same. But if I uh, can give you a little trick is to increase the steps for this uh, text in painting uh, process. It will give you more uh, better results. Okay, that's it for this workflow. Now I will show you how you can you download this model and how to install it. You can use this Black Forest Hugging Face link. And here you can see the Flux 1 field development version. Just make sure to download it. Once it is done, go to your Comfy UI root folder, search for model, then search for diffusion model. You can paste your model here. As you can see, I also have the FP8 version that I also copied in this diffusion model. Next, you have this hug the second hugging face link where you can use the gguf version of this field model it is uh, more faster and it consumes less vram and i strongly suggest you to use the q8 version which weighted uh, 12 gigabyte compared to this original fp16 version which is very heavy so once it is done make sure to update your comfy ui restart it and you can use this workflow more properly here you have two nodes the load diffusion model in order to use the field development model and here we have the unit loader in order for you to use the gguf version only make sure to copy the gguf version in the right uh, folder which is under model and unit folder here you can uh, copy your gguf version okay so that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my other video. Thank you.